Hey y'all, welcome back to Art Space. This is Anna Lee again, Director of Artistic Programs. And today I get to talk about one of my favorite parts of my job here, and that's serving as the curator of exhibitions. And the reason I'm talking with you about this today is because of our current exhibition that is available for all of you to see and enjoy online, uh, and that's Fresh. So part of the goal of that show is not just to feature the incredible talent of North Carolina artists, put money in their pockets and, and raise money for the work we do here, but it's also to demystify the process of curating or in this, this instance, during an exhibition. Um, so what you'll notice as you look through the over 250 works of art that we have submitted is that there are endless possibilities for interesting connections. Um, and as you start to put together those interesting connections in your mind, whether they be aesthetic or conceptual um, or, or even more um, sort of linked through a common theme, you'll notice that there are countless numbers of exhibitions that can come from that one pool. And so what we've done this year is take advantage of this sort of virtual um, platform and rather than inviting one juror to pre present their curatorial focus for the show, we've invited several. So you all have the opportunity to see the ways in which different curators across the state of North Carolina are looking at the same group of works of art and putting them together into individual unique shows. Um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about my process. So today I'm standing in front of the work of Janelle Washington, who's actually an artist based in, in Virginia. And the reason I wanted to highlight Janelle is because for me as a curator, I'm lucky that I'm thinking about curation um, across several different spaces. So currently the theme that we're looking at um, in art space with our core exhibitions, the um, Domestic Demise in Gallery 1 and then Rubber Donkey Party in Gallery 2 is the idea of um, material, not just material culture, but the ways in which artists are using materials, um, either unexpected materials, um, as a sort of core focus of their practice. And so when I was thinking about inviting artists in to show in our corridor spaces, as a curator, the thing that I have in mind is making sure that I'm, I'm giving a platform to as many sort of diverse points of view as possible within that one broad umbrella theme. Um, that's in, in terms of the, the artist's cultural background, um, their, their age, uh, their geographic location, um, as well as medium. So Janelle's paper cuts, for example, was something that really wasn't fully represented in any of the exhibitions we had, and I felt like added a really important, um, an important voice to the overall theme. Um, so she's celebrating African-American figures both from her personal experience as well as historical figures as a means of elevating those those people um, for for her audience and she's doing it through this very material based process of paper cutting um, I don't know how much detail you can see in this video uh, but she hand cuts all of her figures layers um, these different um, sections of the paper cut to create the finished work of art. Um, and it's a beautiful tie to the work that you can see in Gallery One where Elizabeth Alexander is also cutting out forms. She's doing it to an entirely different effect for um, an entirely different outcome. So I'd say for me as a curator, the most exciting thing that I'm able to do is create conversations between works of art that you might not necessarily think of um, as being related. Um, and, and ultimately what that does is, is 
makes art as accessible as it possibly can be. Um, Janelle's work may speak to, to one viewer um, more strongly than another, um, but thinking about it within the context of an overall theme um, provides a sense of connection um, that you otherwise might miss.